There are places in the universe that changed drastically because of a single event. The moon in 1969, when Neil Armstrong made one small step for man. The earth with the ice age. And the 2009 VMA Awards, when Kanye grabbed the mic from Taylor. One place in year that you probably didn't know changed all of our lives was in the late 1800s in New Jersey. Our world was mostly in the dark until 1880 in Menlo Park. This is where the light bulb was perfected. Thomas Edison's Menlo Park Laboratory, which was relocated from the Garden State of New Jersey to the Henry Ford Museum's Greenfield Village in Dearborn, Michigan. This is an exquisite formal dinner setting inside the lab for a private event hosted by T. Ed himself. But for whom was it? What was the introverted genius of his day really up to? I met with the museum's head curator, Mark Gruther, to find out. We're in Thomas Edison's laboratory, sitting down at a formal dining set. Why? Well, there's a dinner that's going to be hosted here. When did this dinner take place? This took place on December the 20th, 1880. And what had happened before then that precipitated this dinner? Well, I mean, I suppose the biggest event was pretty much a year prior when there was a public demonstration of the workable, just workable lighting system. It's one thing to show it off in Menlo Park, but what Edison was committed to doing was actually building a system, selling the system, and installing it in the city. We're not just talking any city. We're not talking any city. We're talking Manhattan and New York City. Edison's plan was to electrify one square mile of lower Manhattan, burying electrical cables underground, and building the first ever power station. It was a disruptive idea. New York City is pretty well sewn up. It's filled with telegraph wires festooned from buildings. There's gas pipes underground, there's water pipes. It's not going to be an easy thing. So this is part of his overture, if you will, to getting aldermen and uh, park commissioners and other people who he needed permission from to agree to uh, have this disruption take place in the city. Does he like this part of the job? convincing a disparate group of personalities and power brokers. Reaching out into the political arena and trying to sort of gain traction with people with whom there perhaps wasn't much mutual sympathy. No, I think this is quite new to him. I think one of the ways you deal with it is by putting on a great spread. And at that point, the relationship shifts a little bit. Edison displayed his business savvy by having the meal catered from the legendary steak restaurant Delmonico's. Is the dinner a success? Well, it is. There's a massive ice storm that blows through New York in January of 1881, which downs all kinds of telegraph wires and other power wires that would have reminded the participants that there were great advantages to what Edison was trying to do, burying cables. And when do the lights go on in that section of Manhattan? The success takes place in September of 1882, when the Pearl Street Station comes online. It was probably one of the toughest places he could have chosen to actually deploy the system. But at the same time, once you've done it there, other places might be easier. Yeah, go big or go home. <laughs> exactly. I mean, Edison cutting through the red tape with a steak knife. With a steak knife, indeed. Not really a steak knife, well, but you know what I mean. close to it.